believe is going to happen. It's all about oil. Stock market, bond market, credit market, Fed policies, all about oil. You have to watch this very, very carefully. The US is a superpower because of the perpetual dollar status it maintains. That's why it's a superpower. We lose this, we cannot anymore be called superpower and maintain our empire worldwide and provide access to oil. That's the most critical part we have to look for in the first place. It's becoming bigger than the Fed. The Fed's options, as we heard, are becoming more and more limited. The Fed cannot control what it used to control before. There are factors outside. The U.S. is not anymore the sun, it's a planet. You have China rising, you have India, you have the Middle East, you have all countries. We don't have anymore the power and the leverage, and because of all the mistakes we did decade after decade, that we had 10, 20 years ago. It's not a patriotic thing to say, say these things, but this is the facts, and we cannot be in denial of the facts. It's a totally different world out there, an extremely dangerous world. And where geopolitics will, will also play a lot into the equation, which we didn't have five, ten years ago. Now it has to be factored in to the core, the geopolitical factors. Now, it's all gonna, also going to depend how we align ourselves with the Saudis or not, Russia or not, etc. The Saudis, if they fall outside the orbit, the U.S. orbit, it's going to be a catastrophe in the United States. We cannot have the Saudis lose the Saudis from our orbit. It's all about oil again. It's going to start with debt, 19 trillion dollars in debt, billions of dollars in derivatives, up there. Nobody's controlling anything. It's a world run amok. Nobody's controlling anything. They give you the perception that they are in control. Nobody's really controlling anything because nobody is seeing the whole situation as it is. I thought Trump controlled everything. Not really. He relies on people who understand things. That's how it should be. And, and, and he understands that. But, but I love this. It's, it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, uh, look, at the end of the day, we cannot play with QE. Because if we, keep, if, if we keep doing quantitative easing, it's going to affect the dollar, petrodollar, oil, etc. We cannot play with that. This has to stop completely, automatically.